All right. So one of the first things we're going to learn here is what's called the angle addition postulate. The se sorry, segment addition postulate. You probably already know the segment addition postulate. You just didn't know the name of it. If I gave you the following. If I said this is six and this is two, how long is AC? Shout it out. Eight. Congratulations, you know the segment addition postulate. Part one plus part two is equal to the whole thing. Yes? Easy concept. How does that apply here? Well, I'm going to stay behind my line here and take my mask off so we can everything hear me better. Here's part one, is 2x plus 6. Part two is 4. The whole thing is 20. Suddenly, now it's just an alpha problem, isn't it? I can take the 6 plus the 4, get 2x plus 10 is equal to 20. Subtract 10 from both sides, get 2x is equal to 10. Divide by 2, x is going to be equal to 5. And this one just said find x, because that's all we got to do. Algebra is kind of secondary here, but the idea is part 1 plus part 2 will equal the whole thing. Easy concept? OK. This one. It's asking how long is LN? It's not asking us to find X. But guess what? We still have to find X. Now they tell us LN is 3X minus 14. If we can figure out what X is, then we can figure out how long LN is, right? We can plug it back in. So we're doing the same thing. Part one is, is just the X, right? Part two is the eight. <laughs> the whole thing is three x minus fourteen. Part one plus part two is equal to the whole thing. And then we just do some alpha. Subtract eight from both sides. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So 8 is equal to 2x plus 14. I'm sorry, 2x minus 14. I'm going to add 14 to both sides. 2x is equal to 22. So therefore, x must be 11, correct? So then I can do this one of two ways. I can plug 11 into here and figure out what ln is, or I can just put, put 11 right there, right? What's 11 plus 8? 19. 3 times 11 would be 33. If I subtract 14, that's, that's going to be 19. So ln is equal to 19. But the big idea here is part one plus part two equals the whole thing. Simple enough? Guess what? Angle addition postulates. Angle AXB, angle AXB plus angle BXC is equal to AXC. Again, if I said this is 10 degrees and this is 20 degrees, how much is the whole angle? 30. <coughs> Yes, the big fancy name for add the two parts together and you get the whole thing. So this one, they want to know how much angle AXB is. That's 2x plus 10, but we don't know what x is, so we got to figure out x, don't we? But they tell us angle AXC, the whole thing is 100. So we take part one. Plus part two equals the whole thing. Part one is 2x plus 10. 
part two is 3x minus 20. The whole thing is 100. Could you do the algebra from there? I'm not even going to go through, go through the rest of the algebra. You figure out what the algebra is, figure out what x is, and then you plug it in. I'm just showing you how to set it up. Okay. The last one, midpoint, definition of midpoint. If it's the midpoint, then this side is equal to this side. Okay. Now, uh, I grew up in Fort Wayne, and a bunch of my friends went to Southside High School. One of my friends even teaches there. His name is, uh, no. They call him Master G because he teaches geometry. And he teaches them with geometry gang signs. Okay. So I've learned some, I've learned, you know, some lingo up there. Like, I know how to say, hey, what's up? How's it going? In Southside. Ready? That's it. That's, hey, what's up? How's it going? Look them up and down. That's it. Okay. Geometry gang times. Here's here it is. Okay, midpoint. Take your two fingers like this. Come down like this. You see how it's making an M? Yes. Midpoint. Because this side is equal to this side, isn't it? I'm so thug, yo. By the way, angle bisector is this. Because you're, this is an angle and being cut in half by your middle finger. Angle bisector. Word up, G. All right, so midpoint. This is your game plan for midpoint. By the way, if you want to throw these gang signs at me the hallway, that's fine. Please do not do it to the principal or assistant principal. The wall can be like, yo. What up? Be like, <laughs> yeah, this is a D for detention. Yeah, don't throw up in Mr. Roger, this good pass. So we're going to say, what the heck's going on? Uh, anyway, midpoint. This side is equal to this side, right? This side is equal to this side. So how can we find X here? Well, this side is equal to. 7x plus 6 is equal to 34. Now it's nice easy algebra, isn't it? So subtract 6 from both sides. 7x is equal to 28. Divide by 7. X is going to be 4. So I'm going to need to see the setup, though. I'm going to need to see you showing me. Because M is the midpoint. Just a few, just like quick sentence explaining why you're doing something, okay? So the two concepts today is part plus part equals whole. And if it's the midpoint, the two sides are equal. Got it? On the worksheets, on the worksheet with the 10 at the bottom. You have to do numbers three, number 10, and then you choose six more. I don't care which six you choose. Choose six more, okay? You'll see some of them are stud problems. You see some of them are basic problems. I don't care which ones you want to do. If you want to take on the stud ones, go for it. Rock on. If you're like, eh, let's keep it simple, Q, that's okay. And then on the other one, you choose any three you want. Any three you want. You can do it. You can do the like the three, like numbers one, two, and three, that's fine. You can do three, four, five, do you like the challenge? That's fine. Okay. That's your homework for tonight. We will look at it tomorrow.